terror in Orlando. Just bang, bang, screaming and loud noise, and the other guy next to me was shot. More than 100 people shot, at least 50 dead. I thought I was gonna die. Like, I didn't know if I was gonna come out alive. A night that started as a fun time ended as the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. Special coverage of Wavy News 10 starts now. And we continue our coverage. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Brandi Cummings. The nation in mourning tonight as many remember yet another deadly mass shooting here at home. People spending the night remembering the victims of the deadly shootings in Orlando. Within the last few minutes, the largest LGBT organization in Hampton Roads ended a vigil in Norfolk. Ten on your sides, Matt Gregory was there. And Matt, I can only imagine this was a somber occasion. Brandy, even though the event happened, the disaster happened hundreds of miles from Hampton Roads, the effects were felt right here in our backyard. And members of the LGBTQ community woke up today and knew they couldn't just sit by. While the world woke up to tragedy in Orlando, the senseless slaughter dragged members of the LGBTQ community across the country into its aftermath. Initially shocked. It was just the initial shock that it could happen anywhere. In Norfolk, Andrew Davies and Hampton Roads Pride rushed to action. They planned a vigil at WHRO. From there, it's been all hands on deck, getting everything sorted. We've been to the storage units and buying flags, buying candles, making the candle, candle drippers, and everything. When the sun went down, the vigil drew in a large crowd of people, somber faces that gave way to warm embraces. Let me give you a hug. We'll feel many emotions tonight and for the next few days. There certainly will be tears and sorrow but don't let there be hate. Over the light of candles, speakers address hundreds of people, remembering people that they never knew, but with whom they felt a common bond. We will not forget your ultimate sacrifice. You didn't know what would transpire last night. No one did, but now you will live in our hearts forever. A day of sadness that brought the LGBTQ community together in our backyard. In a few days, Hampton Roads Pride Fest kicks off. Sunday's vigil acted as a reminder that amidst the celebrations, there's still work to be done. I think it frightens a lot of people, and um, we just here to show that we are not we are not frightened. A community brought together by sadness, but embracing one another. Now, one of the questions that's been asked is, with Hampton Roads Pride Fest just around the corner, is anything being done about security? Well, I talked to the president of Hampton Roads Pride Fest tonight. He said that they have been in touch with Norfolk Police and other surrounding police departments to ensure the safest things go on and the safest precautions are taken this week at Hampton Roads Pride Fest. In Norfolk, I'm Matt Gregory. Tell on your side.